Good morning and welcome to a school run vlog that I haven't done for ages. And the reason I'm doing a school run vlog, 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 vlog is because I'm gonna be stuck in my office all day. And the reason I'm very happy is because I'm editing all day. That's, you know, it's just absolute pleasure to work on some of the projects I'm working on right now. Everything's looking rosy-ish. Uh, not as rosy as it was last year, but rosy. So I'm looking forward to getting home and getting cracking on some excellent new content. And I'm that busy <laughs> today that I might even have to upload this video without even editing it at all. So apologies if there are long gaps, long pauses, lots of ums and ahs. Um, because that's how I talk normally. The reason I have to edit my videos so much with all the uh, gaps taken out is because I do um, uh, uh, talk uh, uh, like this quite a lot. But today I'm in a happy mood, sun's out, it's quite warm. I think spring has finally arrived in the UK. So I should be able to waffle on at least for three minutes and uh, get some content for my school run vlog. So what's in the news today? We have the news that a CIA employee, I can't remember his name, has been out to North Korea and met Mr. Kim Jong-un. And that's apparently, well it is amazing I think. I think it's one of those things that I look back on and go, oh my god, it actually happened. And uh, is it going to be something that people can actually agree that's a good thing rather than constantly bitch and whinge and try and find any which way to discredit anything that anyone does that's not quite normal. Uh, football news, I uh, listened to about the Spurs versus Brighton match last night, disappointed with a one all draw. Uh, I hope Spurs don't do their usual end of season crash. Uh, and end up finishing fifth. I've got a whole feeling that uh, this last four or five Premier League games plus the FA Cup semi final, hoping that it doesn't drain everyone's uh, energy and we end up drawing and losing in the last four or five games. And Chelsea sort of pip us to fourth place and we end up finishing fifth. I hope not with sun as well. They're not new, but I hope not with sun It's the first day I've worn them today. They've been in the car for about six months just sitting in the glove box. So I had to dust them down this morning and uh, put on the shades. I always get these shades. Every year I go into Next and they're about 10 quid. And yeah, I always buy these. I think the last three or four years I've, I've uh, just gone into Next, got a new pair of these. Uh, yeah, these, these, I'm happy with these. These are good for driving and just for casual wear, I think. I think they, and they suit my beard, I think. I've tried loads of sunglasses in the past. I think these are the ones I'm going to stick with for a while. Uh, I remember the days of wearing those white, spe those yeah, those white rimmed spectacles. I wore those for a while when I was a teenager. And then they had the big old visor things that I now use for cricket only. Uh, yeah, so I think sunglasses for me have always been a bit of a, a fashion nightmare. Well, but now, 42, I can give a monkeys. I just wear what I feel comfortable in and what I actually look like or what I feel like I look like in a mirror it suits me so yeah don't really care anymore about the way I look you get to a certain age you think oh whatever so yeah about 40 well I think I probably thought about that but about 35 got about 35 I thought really do I really need to care about what other people think I mean, look at me I'm always wearing these long sleeve uh, well I'm not calling cool, them not jumpers not, not t-shirts but they're so comfortable and light and they're ideal for me working in the office because I don't really want to wear a jumper because too too hot for a jumper but not warm enough to wear a t-shirt <laughs> so these fit right in the middle and they're available from Primark <laughs> I think <laughs> about five of them I've bought about five of them so if you ever look at my videos and think he's wearing the same clothes all the time that's not the same clothes it's literally just the same item of well the same item of clothing that I've bought three or four times over so uh, yeah so I do actually change my clothes I just wear the same clothes especially when I'm working all I'm doing is sitting in my office uh, tapping away on a keyboard and a mouse 
so I don't really need to get dressed up. Sometimes I even just work in my pajamas. I have had days where I've worked all night and I've just not bothered getting dressed because there's no need to. But uh, days like today when I'm doing a school run, you know, I have to uh, make an effort and <laughs> get some clothes on. Um, right, what else can I waffle on about? I'm quite enjoying this actually. It's the first time I've actually just gone for it and thought, well, I just talk whatever's on your mind, don't stop, just keep on waffling on. I don't even know how long I've gone for. I'm hoping my phone doesn't stop all of a sudden. That's why I've had to swap it down to normal HD. I had it in um, it's Ultra HD for a while, which is supposed to be like 4K. But what I found is every five minutes the video would stop and I'd have to keep starting it again. So in normal HD, in 1920 by 1080p, I think it'll run for about 10 15 minutes before it actually stops. So I'm hoping I can keep this rolling all the time I'm driving home. This will be the first time that I've driven all the way home without stopping the camera and without actually stopping the whole vlog altogether. So I'm now driving on the Adelshire Road, which is between sort of the A2 and the village of Elsham. I've lived in Elsham now for two years, absolutely love it, especially on days like today. All the countryside is looking green and the colours are amazing. Now I really am waffling on, aren't I? Jesus Christ. Um, come on, change the subject quick. Um, right, yeah, there will be a few more of these videos because I am a bit busy and this whole 100 days vlogging thing is <laughs> really getting in the way of my work. But I love it, that's the thing, it's really frustrating. So I've got all these ideas I want to do, all these setups, all these places, but it's a whole day out of my life really. Um, I don't get out a lot, <laughs> I don't get out too much. That's why I'm doing this vlog now, because it's the only time I'm going to get out of the house um, today. So, oh, it's one of those things where I don't travel to work, I don't walk to work, I don't get a bus or a train. I'm literally just getting out of bed, having my breakfast and jumping on, on my desk, or my chair, not my desk. So when I do the school run, it's quite a nice sort of relief to actually get out of the house. So that's just the only chance I actually get to make my content, if you can call it content. Uh, but I still know I've got to edit it. Even editing this will take probably a good part of an hour, hour and a half, just cutting out all the gaps, all the dead air, as I call it, and all my ums, ahs, and mistakes. But, touch wood, don't think I've made too many mistakes in this video. So I've, I've made literally just quickly watch it via Premiere Pro, cut out anything I, I don't want or I didn't need to say I didn't want to say um, and then just whack it up I think um, I can't really make anything out of this video that will um, reach search engine optimization there is no set topic it's just a random waffle really so probably we'll just call it school run vlog um, 100 days vlog challenge that's basically all I can say really about this vlog so you know, I haven't really stuck to one topic that I can use to fill up my tags but there you go never mind it's uh it's another day done let's uh, let this guy is he gonna go go on hurry up he didn't even look never mind well I'm nearly home now so if you have watched the entire vlog thank you very much I apologise if it's been 10 minutes out of your life that's probably thinking oh, I'll never get that back again but I am determined to finish this 100 days vlog challenge even if I lose all my subscribers <laughs> and lose the will to live cheerio